play some video games on Steam that have dinosaurs. So I got Ark Survival, and I have Sorarian, and then I have the Isle. The Isle I haven't played yet. It looks kind of scary, so we'll find out how it works. Cool. But first they're going to play Ark Survival. Yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah, this one, I've, uh, I've seen the Denonicus, and this game has the Denonicus, but you have to get to a different area than I'm at right now. I've seen it on uh, YouTube videos. Yeah. So, we'll see. This one I've played for a little bit, so I've... Uh... All right, so here's the start screen, and I'll go to local, and then I'll go to single player, and then resume so here's my character inside one of the huts that i built i just built it really simple just because i i had to get something going and this was my first time with it i think it's a dinosaur over there so i have my two homes right here this was my first home that i built a little fireplace here. Yep. And then now I can look at dinosaurs. There's a dinosaur over here. Do you remember the name of this dinosaur? I think it's a Parasilophus. Parasilophus. Or, yeah. Yeah. I en ended up, uh, I was further because my friend Nick helped me get set up with this game. It was a Triceratops. Oh, nice. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Especially on this huge screen I got. Yeah, I bet. Oh, man, it's like, it's like you're really there. <laughs> Almost. The closest thing you can get other next to VR. Yeah. The VR would be, I mean, we're really collected like there, but. That's huge. Zoom around it. Oh, well, you can swim. There's like a big building there. Is that a big uh, building? Yeah, it's oh no, like... that's yeah. They're all over the those things. Uh, something to do with the game, but I'm not exactly sure what. Like they're time for. travel or something. Yeah, yeah, something uh, something about how the humans get to this time zone or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know exactly the plot of the the game, but this looks pretty cool. Yep. Yep. And people are saying that 65 is like arch survival. Not quite. But... Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, there was this other, you know, the other game that I was playing before. That was the one that, um, that um, poisons you. I was getting a little far. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Yeah. Dilophosaurus. So that one, uh, Dilophosaurus. I, I was trying to find some, some meat to eat and I found that Dilophosaurus. Didn't realize what it was. Then I came up to me and the, then it, or I went up to it and then it poisoned me. So then, yep. I, then I was like, oh no. <laughs> so then I ran, ran back to my hut and I thought I was safe in the hut, but then it broke through the hut. Oh my God. Poisoned goodness. me some more. So then I was forced to attack it and defend myself. But then oh. it, it, it killed me, killed my character and I was oh, gone. Yeah. So I had to start all over from scratch. <laughs> oh wow. After, uh, mm. after, no, oh, what's that? Is that a Denonicus? No. Velociraptor, maybe? Oh, no, that might be that poison thing. No. Is that a Dilophosaurus? I, better... I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to get close. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> want to get close to that because it's going gonna, it's gonna to attack me and I don't want to die again like I did before. <laughs> this is as close as I'm going to get. But it, is, it could be. It might be a Velociraptor. Sorry. That's a velociraptor, I think. Yeah, it's about the size of a velociraptor. So how big are the velociraptors in this game? That, if that's a velociraptor, that's probably like three feet tall, I would say. It's hard to say because I don't want to get too close. But Yeah. You don't yeah, have like I a weapon or something? I do have a weapon, but I still don't want to because it killed me the other time. You can do a screenshot with 
Alt F1. There we go. Cool. Yeah, we got a pterodactyl and a triceratops. Yep. Or a pterodon. Cool. Yeah. So it's a serarium like. Hmm? Oh, yeah. We should see. Oh, yeah, we can check that game out now. I'll go in here, go back to my hut, and then we can exit. Does it automatically save? Yeah. Yep, it automatically saves. See the characters that you can pick. You got the Triceratops, you got the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then you have this uh, Donaticus like character. I don't know if it's Donaticus or Velociraptor, but I'll click on it. No, I just name it. Nice, oh, like stands right up. <laughs> Yeah, it stands up. See, one thing interesting about like Denonicus, um, there's like a uh, confusion of how tall a Denonicus is because of Jurassic Park. Yeah, uh, Velociraptor. And, yeah, and Velociraptor. But if you look up Denonicus height or just Denonicus in Wikipedia, yeah, it yeah. doesn't give a, a good description of how tall a Denonicus is because. It only says by the hip height and not how tall it was. So if you look at that, oh. realize that it's saying just hip height. Then it yeah, looks so it's like not it's showing how there. high the head is. Yeah, the head um, can be so many different heights yeah. by uh, his stance. Yeah, by the stance. It could be standing up really tall. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's hard to really define the height. Yeah. They don't even include that. They and they include just the hip height, which is like three feet. But with the head, if you include the head, it's at least four to four and a half, and possibly five feet tall. Yeah, on the stance of the. Yeah, if the it stands like this guy, it'd be five feet tall. Yeah, he'd be like five feet tall. But then there's um, picture de descriptions of Denonicus that sometimes make it look like he's only three feet tall. And it makes me think of like how, I don't know, are, are they trying to make it more like, so it seems like it's more the same size as a Velociraptor. Com yeah, they're trying to correct the mistakes that, that Jurassic Park has brought to the paleontology world. Yeah, and trying to make them seem more similar in size than they really were. Yeah. And they really, and Denonicus was really about the same size as like the velociraptors that were described in, in Jurassic in the Park. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. Because and, yeah. in the, in the movie and in the books, it's described as six feet tall and a Denonicus could get close to the same size. But yeah. As, as the ones in the movie. And then the Utah raptor can, get up to probably seven feet tall. Yeah. If yeah. it stands high. Yeah. Utah Raptor is about six feet tall, but probably could stand as much as seven feet tall or more. Yeah. Stance. Yeah. So anyways. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. let's let's start this game here. So there's I'm the little one, and then there's the bigger one next to me. Yeah, and it's got all the feathers. Yeah. Go down to this view here. That's a good shot. Yeah, there you go. That's right up close. And now it's getting brighter. This is on the way out. Not too much except for these guys. No, we don't have much time, so I don't do a quick thing of the other game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay.
Looks pretty cool. Alright, so now I'm gonna fix the tunnel bar. the Utah Raptor. He's floating. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite as dark. Oh man, that whole river scene is gone. <laughs> oh man, and that was good. <laughs> yeah, it was. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no feathers on this dinosaur. We won't look at the camera. Oh, eyes are cool. Mm. See the textures there. Yeah. Got good graphics. The paleontologizing videos. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> I don't yeah. The the I zoom the zoom calls that we're doing are like the paleontologizing videos. Yep. As Except I'm for sure. his are are more exciting and there's more enthusiasm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but his yeah yeah, and his sound got, effects. You know. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty entertaining. He's got his uh, bells and whistles that he does. Yeah, but it's cool. It's kind of like like you discover things and you discover one thing, which makes you look into something else, and then you discover that. And yeah, you through all of that and showing you some really cool websites like that Tree of Life website that he showed. And yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Yeah, it's a cool website. Yep. And yeah, and it. It's, yeah, that is really cool how he can jump from one thing and it kind of like ties together everything that he's yeah. talking about. Um, everything ties, ties together. together. And then something that he's talking about will tie to something that he was talking about before and it comes like around full circle. Yeah, cool. yep, yep, definitely. So then next time we can do the Jurassic Park video games. There's Jurassic yeah. Park, the game for the cell phone yeah, yeah next time we'll do that Jurassic one. Park Dominion yeah alright I'm gonna stop recording now okay see ya see ya we'll see you next time